Chair recognizes Chairman Martin for an invite resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, thank you for your attention this morning. We, we have the great privilege and honor of recognizing um, an Atlanta uh, resident, and I want to say an Atlanta native, but we're, we're going to adopt uh, Louise Blay, uh, the Consul General of uh, Canada uh, for Atlanta, to our house this morning and, and welcome her. Ms. Blay started her uh, professional career, of all things, as an art theft analyst with Interpol. She then moved to program uh, development with the National Archives of Canada, working there into the mid-90s before joining the Department of Foreign Affairs and International Trade in 1996. In Ottawa, for the Department of Foreign Affairs, she has held multiple positions, and Ms. Blay and her team have been responsible for the deployment of over 2,000 employees worldwide for Canada. In August 2014, the Minister of Foreign Affairs appointed her Consul General of Canada in Atlanta, covering states with an aggregate, listen to this, an aggregate, bi an aggregate bilateral trade of over $50 billion. These states include North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, and of course, our home state of Georgia. Ms. Blay has hundreds of, uh, uh, sits on numerous boards and has numerous honors in her work for the people of Canada. She has a degree, a BA from McGill University, is married to Peter Faulkner and has two sons. I could spend the next 30 minutes talking about Ms. Blay, but I think we would better hear from her, our Consul General from Canada, Ms. Louise Blay. Please welcome her. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, Representative Martin, esteemed body, I am so pleased and honored to speak to you today. I admire so much what you do, juggling your families, your businesses, your careers, and your public life. It takes dedication, sacrifice, and a sense of purpose. So, since I appreciate your time, I want to thank you for being here to hear my message about the Canada-Georgia relationship. In this new context of your Trump administration at the federal level. But first, let me express on behalf of the people of Canada our deep sorrow and condolences for the loss of life and the devastation that you have experienced this weekend. We stand ready to help, and our hearts are with you. So first, the facts about this incredible relationship. Canada is Georgia's number one customer. Our two-way trade exceeds $10 billion a year. That's more than all of Canada trades with the entire European Union. But the good news story doesn't stop there. You sell more to us than we sell to you. Even at the national level, our trade relationship is balanced. Back here in Georgia, we're your number one source of tourism. All of this wonderful trading relationship generates 330,000 jobs in your state. More than 250 Canadian companies call Georgia home. They include Magna and Dirt, both recipient of the Georgia Governor's Award last year for foreign companies having an impact in your state. Our joint success in recent years owes a great deal to NAFTA and the healthy supply chains that it has created, making us together more competitive globally. We are confident that you, our American partners, especially from Georgia, understand the mutual benefit of that balanced relationship. We will continue to work hard to make sure that it is properly understood. 
As I speak to you today, the new administration in Washington is organizing renegotiations of aspects of NAFTA. Fair enough. It is over 20 years old. So talking about improving it, making it responsive to recent changes in the digital economy, makes sense. That said, much is at stake in terms of what is already working in our economic partnership. Protectionism is not what got Georgia where it is today with its enormous flow of foreign direct investment. Supply chains and your competitiveness is what got you there. These are good years for your state. And Canada has been a part of that great story. By providing you manufacturing sec your manufacturing sector high quality, affordable parts and components for cars and other finished products, we often end up buying from you once it's assembled. Buy America, hire America may sound good, but behind the slogan hides is that buy American provisions drive up cost of constructions, leading to fewer projects and fewer U.S. construction jobs. I have one request today, and that is that you remain vigilant and make your case heard by your federal government. Protectionism has proven time and time again that it does not create prosperity. Trade does. Before I conclude, I want to talk about concrete, exciting ways in which my team at the Consulate General here in Atlanta, um, what we're doing with your state uh, this upcoming year. And I'd like to take a moment to recognize my staff who are with me here today, both on the floor and up in the gallery. Thank you so much for what you do for the relationship. I have a smart and creative team, many of them Americans, working for our relationship. They're wonderful people, and I'm honored to be uh, their leader and a teammate. Canada and Georgia can grow our creative industry economy together. We have the same goals, and through partnership around technology, incentives, training, and funding, we can ramp up and sustain our creative and, uh, industry economies. This is why we are organizing a bilateral roundtable later in the spring to discuss how we can work together to help enhance your, your film and television productions here in Georgia by adding on post-production work in Canada that will make your products competitive and more geared towards um, the creative process that is happening in Georgia. Last year, one of the things that I'm the most proud about, if you just give me one moment, is to talk about what we did last year in partnership with you. My office organized the very first Women in Business Summit, North, Women in Business North America Summit, which brought 550 women business leaders from Georgia, Canada, and Mexico together. It was an enormously successful event. Many outcomes, contracts came out of those discussions. So that we're doing it again next year, and it's going to be in Atlanta again next year in October 2017. And we have partners like Tech, uh, TAG, Georgia Tech, Morris Manning and Martin, Coca-Cola, UPS, Delta, all great Georgians. Because we firmly believe that women entrepreneurship is an essential part of the prosperity recipe. We are here to encourage it. Two more quick things. One is about reciprocity of driver's licenses. As you are attracting incredible talent to your state, some of that talent is coming from Canada. Some of those investments are coming from Canada. We're hearing it's difficult to get a driver's license once they get here. So we're going to be working with your body and with the Economic Development um, uh, Commission to try to make that easier. I want to mention before I go that this year, the SUCP Alliance will 
meet in Toronto. The Sioux CP Alliance is the alliance of southern states and Amer uh, Canadian provinces that was funded by then Governor Perdue. It will be held in Toronto, and I'm pleased that a large group, a large delegation from Georgia will come, both from the city of Atlanta and from Gwinnett Country and beyond. We're looking forward to welcoming you in Toronto. Thank you for this opportunity and for the strong, consistent partnership that you have with my country. It is a pleasure to represent Canada in your great state. I want to thank you again. Merci. Rise up, Georgia.